it seems to me as an economist that this particular project does not make economic sense um, at this time uh, in New Mexico. Again, this magical thinking, build it and they will come. If, if that had worked in the past, all the other things that, that we have built uh, as, a, as, a, as a state on behalf of private developers would, would have generated a great deal of jobs. And I've worked in economic development and I can name a number of projects right off the top of my head that didn't quite pan out the way we had hoped. New Mexico has a history of big outside corporate interests trying to come and take advantage of us because we're a resource rich state. What they're trying to do is make money off the land that they got cheaply. You know, this has already failed once, so Sun Cal sold this land to them very cheap. So, you know, easiest thing for them to do is get taxpayer dollars to come build some roads out there, a little bit of infrastructure, and you know, if they don't build their development, they can still sell those parcels of land and make the profit. So all these promises have been made in the past. Uh, all that happens is that the public ends up uh, uh, subsidizing these uh, developments and these developers uh, with infrastructure, streets, uh, water, and wastewater uh, service and uh, utilities. Clearly there's a, there's a very uh, thought out marketing strategy here. Um, they have a project that they need to sell to this community and they know what the hot button issues are. They're promising jobs, right? And so because New Mexico is struggling economically, the lure of jobs is an easy prey on people here in our communities because, you know, we're, we're struggling right now. And, but what the developers failed to talk about is that many of these jobs are actually temporary. When I was present at the first hearing, that would, there was a certain degree of what, what, what felt like arrogance. It felt like, you know, we don't respect you as a community enough to see through this crap. You know, that, that you will fall for this again. Um, and you will act in a way that's counter to your best interests because we've basically convinced you to do that. And it, it's a kind of a, it's, it feels sort of predatory. And we believe the jobs are coming, but, but it's more than a promise. It's not just a promise about jobs because Wall is committing 4,000 acres. If you approve this master plan, they can only be used for employment-based land uses. So Wall is gonna be very motivated to get employers or employment-type operations into that acreage. It's not surprising that it's Barclays behind this, right? Um, they've been involved in so many um, shady deals across the globe that I'm not surprised. But I am surprised that people haven't made, um, a, you know, more a, a greater deal about this, and that our local media hasn't covered this. It's like, you know, oh, well, apparently it's okay for Barclays to come in to New Mexico and decide the fate of our communities, right? And no one's really questioning that. They're in that hearing room getting paid while all of us are sitting there watching, you know, taking time off of work. If one of the commissioners had just asked, looking at the two sides of the room, for the people who were being paid to be there, to stand up on each side of the room, I think that would have, that would have said it all. Real changes that we're facing as far as climate you know, continued drought, those realities are actually demanding that we move towards another way of, um, you know, development. Sprawl is no longer the answer. I think this is a, this is a real uh, a critical point of, uh, of difference uh, between, uh, uh, I, I would consider dinosaur development, okay, of the, of the past, uh, the way things uh, used to be, and the reality of, of the present and the uh, potential uh, in the future. But you know, civilizations have uh, come and gone uh, because the uh, leaders have failed to, uh, to make adjustments uh, as the uh, conditions, as the environment changes. The further this gets down the road, the faster the process picks up. That in fact, it's at this stage that a project really needs to be called out and made accountable before we have this history of approvals that starts to look like or function like a rubber stamp. A profit is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. 
let's all remember that this is America, and there's nothing wrong with making a profit. And that concludes my remarks, Madam Chair.